Today we will be going over leader attributes. We will be discussing and discussing leaders and attributes separate and together and each characteristic of uh, the attributes of a leader. Feel free to ask any questions for the class. Uh, in case of any emergency, we have an exit on the left and exit on the right. Water and bathroom is on the back. Leader. This is basically a definition of leader. Leadership is the art of motivating a group of people to act towards achieving a common goal. The most important leader attributes are character, presence, and intellect. We'll be going over each one of them separately. Character. Character is what makes us unique. Character captures and captures the value and identity of us or of each one of us. Presence. Prison is more how we express, how people see us, and how we behave in front of people. Intellect is more about knowledge, what we know, how we judge, the capabilities to judge and solve problems. This is a basic definition for character. The mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. So, mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. That's what distinct us. That's what makes us unique. That's how we think, how we act, how we react. Here I have some key points, descriptions, and definitions. First one we have here is personality. The personality that's more like um, how we are as a person. The mentality, it's a, uh, in my opinion, it's more like the characteristic and attitude that we uh, express within ourselves, not what we that like the mentality is what we think of each uh, scenario and each uh, situation that we encounter ourselves. Uh, turn on mind, that's a new one for me. That is basically a way of thinking of a person. That's new to me, I, my first time I never heard that. Uh, we also have constitution, persona, distinctiveness, that's uh, basically distinct of each one, uniqueness, and spirit, that's some uh, character descriptions and definitions. We all know mostly what most of this one mean, like, uniqueness, distinctiveness, uh, but something that I want to point out is that you can read the character, like the character of a person by their actions and how they behave in front, <clears throat> how they behave in front of us. That's where we'll be moving now to present. Because from character, we can read the present the presence of person. So presence is the impression a leader makes on others. That's why I mentioned that character is within us, but people can somehow read character and imply it to presence. This is some of the uh, presence in detail key points one of them is bearing deformant attitude the attitude that we have towards someone's situation uh, the attitude that we express to others a manner manner is the how respectful we are and uh, 
not only that, how we talk, how we communicate with others. Appearance that also goes to, towards presence. Appearance is the way we look, what haircut do we have. Not only that, movement that we do with the body, what talking, and it's basically what describes us as a person, but physically, not mentally. The next one that we have is intellect. Intellect is the faculty of reasoning and understanding an object, object, sorry. The faculty of reasoning and understanding objectively, especially about abstract or academic matters. That's basically knowledge, the ability to follow and interpret the vision and mission of an organization or goal or unit or group, the ability to judge and the ability to, yes, yeah, the ability to judge, the ability to um, conceptualize, the ability to solve problems, the ability to solve problems but with knowledge, not solving problems the hard way, solving problems with knowledge, with what we know is the right way. Here are some of the uh, intellect key points. We have intelligence, reasoning. I think reasoning is, I included reasoning because I think it's one of uh, the key points of intellect. Understanding and comprehension. Intellect. Uh, person with a high intellect, it's better able to comprehend and understand situations and person. Judgment, someone with a better judgment have a, someone with a better intellect has somehow a better judgment. Wisdom, like I mentioned before, I include wisdom because I think that's part, because you can compare someone that have been doing a specific job for 10 years and someone that have just started. I think that goes towards window. wisdom. It's not only knowledge, also wisdom. I think it's part of intellect. Um, so leaders are molded through experience, continuous study and adaptation. I mentioned before on an essay Leaders are not born, leaders are made, so we can guide ourselves, we can follow others to become better leaders. Don't think that because you don't feel like you can be a good leader, you can, that we're not born leaders, we learn how to be leaders. In other words, you can train any of these attributes that I have mentioned on the class, and you can become a really good leader if you are open to growth and you put in the time, the effort to study and self-improve. Another, another thing that I want to mention, another thing that I want to point out is that exceptional leaders lead by example. And rather than avoiding Rather than avoiding conflict to really irritate, they step up and move things in the right direction. So they step up and move things in the right direction by providing by providing purpose and motivation to a group of people working together to achieve a common goal. So you can become a good leader, but you have to work hard for it. Does anyone have any questions for me? As part, as part of the class, 
I have right a few questions here. I'll be reading. One of the questions that I have here is, what can I do today to become a better leader? That's one of the questions that I have. I don't have it here. It's not part of the class. Uh, what can I do to become a better leader? I think to become a better leader, you have to study. What I mean uh, with this question is, like, how can I start to become a better leader in the future? I think studying yourself, it is, it is important so you understand where you need to improve. What is your weakness? What you need to work on? And what you don't need to focus on? The next question that I have is, which attribute is more important? I think each one of these attributes play an important role. We cannot exclude any of them. Character is really important. You have to work on character. Presence is the way people see us. We have to look professional. We have to keep improving our way, our appearance with the time. And intellect, we have to keep growing mentally. We have to keep studying. Like on my field, firefighter, we are learning and training all the time. So this character, presence, and intellect, we cannot say which one is more important, which one is, no, they all play an important role. Another question that I have here that uh, the class might ask me is where can I find more information about leader attributes? To find more information about leader attributes, you can just Google it, but if you want more in detail information that goes to our army and stuff, like army readiness, and you can go to army, to ADP 6-22, they go there uh, in deep towards army leadership, and there you can find the perfect guide on how to become an exce 